Hello, welcome to the Horn Masterclass for the YouTube Symphony Orchestra. My name is David Pyatt and I'm Principal Horn of the London Symphony Orchestra. This excerpt is very much in two parts. It starts off with underpinning the harmony going on in the rest of the orchestra, especially in the woodwind section. Following that, the solo proper starts at bar 90. So this first section needs to be very quiet, pianist, it's pianissimo marking, but also present at the same time. At this point, the solo proper starts. Now, a quick word about these very low notes. Make sure that whatever happens, you've got enough air to put through when you're going for the fundamental F. Um, also, be aware that each of these notes has to be quite clearly defined. So try to avoid the temptation of sort of slurring your way all, the, all around the excerpt. OK, so bar 90 is where the solo proper starts. Um, in this section, breathing is one of the main issues. Try very hard not to breathe every bar or every two bars, otherwise you will probably end up hyperventilating. I'd like to take a breath in the 94th bar and the first quaver rest and make it a little one and then on the second quaver's rest which eighth note rest take a good breath because hopefully that means that you can get away with not breathing between the bars 95 96 and you can get uh, from the written g to the a flat without having to break the phrase of course this famous scale passage is which is the fourth horn's big moment. So take your time over it, make it as beautiful and as musical as you can. Enjoy it. This is a first horn solo, um, fairly classic lyrical writing for the instrument. Uh, it does pose a couple of problems. Um, the first one being breathing, and the second problem being stamina. Now very often these two elements are interconnected. So when you breathe, in, the, in this piece, make sure that you are not in any way, shape or form taking a tense breath, that the throat is relaxed as you can possibly make it. Beware of any sound of tension in your throat when you breathe. So if you're hearing <gasps> or anything along those lines, relax, start again. Try and go for a sort of a hollow sounding breath <gasps> where you're getting the maximum air in, in the minimum time and with the minimum tension. Also, a good tip playing this piece and any piece which involves stamina is make sure that you keep this left arm as relaxed as possible. Easier said than done when the tension starts mounting. Thank you. 
Now, one of the things that makes this excerpt particularly hard is breathing in the middle of the phrases. It's very tempting to chop the notes before you breathe. But whatever you do, please try to make sure that you finish each note before the breath as beautifully as you can. But give yourself time to take a decent breath and not be late on the next upbeat. The dynamics in this piece are also fairly extreme, really, for a solo. The piano dolce at the top I would take with a pinch of salt and play a healthy mezzo piano. It is a solo, and you are playing against the string section. The mezzo forte, likewise, if you want to make a difference between the, mezzo, well, the piano and the mezzo forte, perhaps the mezzo forte could also come up a bit in volume. Um, the pauses in bar 27 have crescendo written through them. Traditionally, there's very often a diminuendo done on the two uh, paused notes, but this is entirely up to you. The final section is back down to the piano marking and leads into the orchestra tutti. The next excerpt we're going to look at today is the Tilleunspiegel's Rüstiger Streicher, the famous horn call at the beginning of this wonderful piece. Take your time on the first call, enjoy the syncopations, but do be aware it's piano the first time, and then when you repeat the call, it's mezzo forte. The repeated call is also normally played at a fairly increased speed. Other things to look out for in this excerpt is trying to keep the integrity of the sound as you go into the lower register. It's very easy to become blatty down there, but try to keep the notes true and good and in tune. Thank you for watching the Horn Masterclass for the YouTube Symphony Orchestra. Um, I hope you enjoy making your submissions and I look forward very much to seeing the entries. Thank you.